This man was almost assassinated by Al-Qaeda. He doesn't want to reveal his real name. He's an activist and he was on a hit list. But he survived. Fate had it that the assassin was someone I knew. Instead of killing me, he warned me and told me that they were tracking me. He said I had to get out of town, but I stayed. Fawaz, as we'll call him, says Al-Qaeda's strength in ties is growing. They've taken control of large areas of the city, and we've noticed that the state and the army deliberately avoids confronting them and doesn't want to enter into open conflict with them. And so they're able to entrench themselves more and carry out their agenda of attracting youth. It's a symptom of a growing problem in ties the inability of the government to extend its control over an area that's now largely free of rebel forces. Here in the centre of the city, it's the Yemeni army that's dominant. But in other parts, it's a different story. In the east, you have the Houthi rebels. And in other areas, there are different militia groups that control territory, including Al-Qaeda and Daesh. If you look carefully in Taiz, a city on the front line of Yemen's war, you can see their presence. Al-Qaeda and Daesh have quietly taken advantage of the anarchy in this city and have established control over a few districts. Some Al-Qaeda fighters have even fought against Houthi rebel forces alongside other militias backed by the government and the Saudi-led coalition. One of the top army commanders in Taiz says the problem here is more about crime. Taiz is not a breeding ground for terrorism. I think some people in Taiz have portrayed themselves as terrorists because they are thieves, drug takers, drunks. This is not Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda is different. They have used Al-Qaeda's techniques while joining together with some Al-Qaeda members who have come from other areas of the country. They have taken advantage of the security situation in the city. Gunfights and assassination attempts are now common in Taiz. This city has been at war for almost three years, and rebel forces have blockaded most of the city's entrances. It's what drove civilians like Nadam al-Aqlani to fight for the government. He used to be a civil engineer. Now he's a soldier. We met him on one of his breaks from the fighting. Taiz is unique. Taiz is the city of coexistence, the city of peace, the dreamer. And even away from his fighting post, the war isn't far away. It's besieged sons deserve all our efforts to become soldiers, to become servants for the city. When the war ends, we will go back to being civilians. As soldiers, rebels and militias battle for control of Yemen, Nadam is still determined to fight for his city, even though it's been destroyed by this war. Abu Bakr al-Shamahi, TRT World, Taiz.